I've always been a bibliophile, loved books. Most of the people in my family are book readers. Anyway, and I'm an artist and a woodcarver, so it was just inevitable that I started making uh, books carved out of wood. Also, I worked for many years as a photographer, and uh, I collect the photos and uh, put them in, make them into books. It, it, to me, it's just a nice way to do the whole thing. These are, this is of a property uh, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It's totally off the grid. It's a beautiful house. This is a 150-year-old barn siding, hemlock, and it's turned into something like elephant skin. Anyway, I made this book uh, based because uh, I took all these photographs of my friend Owen's barn. This is a, an old dairy barn in the southern part of uh, Ohio. Anyway, and this, these are just photographs I took there and the writing around these inside. This book is made out of uh, black walnut, and my friend uh, Fran named it. It's called Being Human, and what it is, it's 105 of my favorite people photographs from mostly the 1970s. These are all black and white. After that, I started shooting color slides, so I haven't figured out how to digitize all those yet. But uh, anyway, I wanted uh, to find a, a way to, you know, show my photographs. And, and on different subjects, and uh, yeah, my nude section. So, you know, that's it. And I made the back of it with a smile. This is Myrtle Wood from Oregon. When I decided to take a, spend three or four months traveling around the Northwest, I set up all these work exchanges, and I came back. I took $1,500, and when I came back, I had $300. So I thought I did pretty good. I didn't have to pay for a motel or a hotel the entire time. These are things I got at rock shops along the way. And this wood I got in Oregon. But this is more, this is my photos and, look, you know, my journal. You know, the people I met and the things I did, the places I stayed. Uh, the things I did to pay, to manage, I bartered uh, for things to go on my trip. <laughs> An artist I met. In the, up in near Eureka, beautiful home. She's a mosaic artist, and she mosaiced everything. She has a book coming out. This is the place I stayed in Oregon, where I, I did a work exchange for two hours a day. I glued bricks. He had like six thousand kiln bricks that he bought from somebody, and they were all cracked. And I needed to fix them so he could use them. Anyway, it was something to do while I traveled around and met people. Bought these rocks at the rock shop, but they had the most beautiful beach. Really spectacular beach. Rosa. <laughs> anyway, they grew plants and made pottery. Oh, this is a guy I met down there. And he introduced me to this guy who let me camp out in his place in Portland <laughs> for one night before I went on and met. This is a chainsaw carving thing I took part in. <laughs> and so, or that's one of the late, the woman next to me. <laughs> and the guy, the guy on the other side of me. That was what I carved. I'd never done this before, and they were all amazed because I used a little electric chainsaw. <laughs> I just did it for fun. All right. But here was the winner. That was a pretty amazing piece. It's like a little boy praying in a tree with clouds and angels. and a, You know, he'd gotten hit by a car. It's a, on a grave there. It was pretty amazing. And uh, I forget his name. So that was the guy from Germany. Brass book. I just wanted to do something different. It's a, it's a whole slab of black walnut. Two slabs, actually. So what I did, I have this wonderful color copier, and I just kept all the junk from my travels, and I made collages. And then I told the story of how I, I slid out when I was mountain climbing in Morocco and fractured my wrist, and this family took me in for two months. So I'm just telling the whole story. It's kind of fun. That's Nordine. I made friend with the friends with the one son. That was just at this ancient hospital that was ruins that one of the 
That was the first hotel I stayed in, the guy who ran it. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. I just uh, made little collages to go with my story. This was the very first book I ever made. And I was inspired by the medieval, beautiful, you know, elaborate inset with things. So this is stuff I got in Afghanistan in the 1970s. And uh, this I, is something I got at a flea market, but uh, be, they had just destroyed Bamiyan, the ancient Buddhist thing. So I put this on there. Manifestations. And what it is, it's 17 short stories I wrote. Yeah, about a trip I took once from uh, Australia to uh, Egypt. And uh, I went overland, and it took me almost two years. And I just had interesting experiences. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, I this at the time was the best copier I could find, and I used, but I did get the really expensive, 100% cotton, acid-free, you know, all that paper. But that was my very first attempt at all this, and uh, I've sold some of the stories to magazines.